Hello everyone, my name is General Fancy Pants, and welcome back to Edna and Harvey, Harvey's New Eyes. When we last left off, we basically got drunk, and now we're in jail. So now we have to figure out how to get out of this jail cell. And, let's see. Well, the only thing we really can do at the moment is look at the barred window or talk to the police officer. Let's take a look at the barred window. Not really much here we can do, so let's go back and talk to the uh, police officer. Uh, what's the matter? You've already had enough of the filtered air? You should have thought of that before reaching for the bottle. <sighs> oh, come on. Don't be so sad. That's exactly the kind of behavior that once made me release Edmund the Slasher. <laughs> you can't even imagine how much trouble I got into for that. It <laughs> took weeks your job. until little Melanie's parents spoke to me again. Huh? Oh, I'm just too soft-hearted. I'll let you go, but you have to promise me never to get into trouble again. Can you do that? Absolutely. Okay. You must not lie. You must not lie. Okay, I guess. Uh -huh. Yeah. Then I can't let you go. You can say plenty of things about me, but not that I don't learn from my mistakes. <laughs> Alright, let's give Harvey the ball of wool then. Because we have to break now the cannot tell a lie Woo, restriction. The ball of wool. Can I see it again? Uh-huh. Okay. So now we have Justicia who is representing that justice is fair and blind. So, let's take a look. Lily had often wondered about justice at the convent. I can see why she would think that. Can we talk to her? Hi, Lily. Don't or tell him, I guess. me you want to get out. Uh-huh. I thought so. But you'd hardly be sitting in there if you knew how to behave properly, right? I guess. Be quiet. You weren't about to contradict me, were you? Uh-huh. Well, I can't object to that. Contradictions are great. Sometimes <laughs> I start contradicting at breakfast. For example, three slices of toast. What? Yum, delicious toast. Um, nom, 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 nom. Uh, but, but that would be a lie. And we both know. You must not lie. Lies are evil. Uh-uh. What? Of course lying is evil. Wait, I'll show you on this blackboard. Take a close look at this board. It shows some of the basic principles of our legal system. For example, that lying is evil. Um... What do you mean? No. Of course lying is evil. It can easily be deduced from the four top principles. God is good and true. But the devil is evil and has great wisdom. God is truth because he is full of wisdom too. But the devil lies with all of his evil. That's why lies are always evil. You can construct the chain of logic leading to this conclusion yourself. It only takes three small steps to get the result. You can try it yourself. Okay, so, as you can see, this is sort of another um, logic puzzle, where basically you have to prove that lying is okay. So, by using these four, uh, I guess, uh, infinity or two, like the two pictures. So, let's put that there. So, good is truth. 
What are you doing there? And why is evil? To anything from that. Try something else. So as you can see, he'll stop you if um it's not the way it should be. But so he was saying that the devil is evil with great wisdom, and the devil lies with all of his evil. And God is good and true, and God is truth because he's full of wisdom. So we could put here, like something like this. Uh, that's logical. Okay, so now we actually have a new um, option here. Because if God is truth because he's full of wisdom but God, the devil is evil and he has wisdom as well so he can deduce that evil truth so now let's see we can take uh -huh. mm -hmm. yeah because yes. those two because now you have good truth That's and you have smart. evil truth And then... Well, this might be a proper deduction. Lies are evil. Next time, please try a little harder. Okay. So then... Let's try that again. I think I was pretty close. I was just kind of trying stuff, but... Uh -huh. mm -hmm. That's all right, and then let's see here. So let's do this one again. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. That's logical. And then if we have. Good wisdom. Let's see. Hmm. So we have good wisdom. What are you doing there? You can't do try. Okay, that didn't work either. All right. Well, we already know that this one is actually this is the way it goes. What are you? you no, 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 wrong way. <laughs> this one. This uh -huh. one. <laughs> yes, that's logical. Hmm. Let's see. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Yes. All right. That's logical. Okay. What are you doing? You can't try. Yeah. Hmm. All right. Let's start over again. I feel like I'm really close, but some, I'm not sure. Let's see. You can't trust no. What are you? <laughs> Let's see, this is actually a tricky one. What are you? You can't trust.
Uh -huh. Oh, okay. Yes. I was just having. That's okay. Logical. So God is good and true, and then God is truth because He's full of wisdom. So then, good truth and truth and wisdom equals good wisdom. Okay. So then, if we take this one and this one, uh -huh. now we have lie wisdom. Yes, that's logical. And then. Let's see here. So then, good wisdom, and then there's lying wisdom. All right. Lies are what? Lies are good? But, but that can't be true. Uh, everything seems to fit. But, but that's. <laughs> Bit extreme, but apparently Justicia was wrong. I guess it so. It seemed that lies weren't so bad after all. Lily had removed another block. All right, so now we have the lying block removed, and there you see the uh, Pinocchio on the far right, or the Pinocchio-like bunny. That one was tough. That's a tough puzzle to solve for, for me anyway. Sometimes I'm always la lateral thinking is a little tricky, but now that we have that, let's turn that one on. Or turn it off however you want to look at it. And talk to the police officer again. Oh, come on. Don't be so sad. I'll let you go. But you have to promise me never to get into trouble again. Can you do that? Of course. Uh -huh. So you promise? No more trouble, okay? Uh-huh. And you're not fibbing? Uh-uh. Nope. Okay, never. then. I guess I'll just have to believe you, then. Welcome to freedom. Let this be a lesson to you. Uh-huh. As long as it's still dark outside, you should really stay indoors. It's much too dangerous out there at night. Huh? It's best to just stay at home. Okay. Alright, let's uh, get out of here. What? But really, where are you going? You heard that it's dangerous out there. You must not hang around dangerous places. There are so many other nice places for children to visit. At a spelling bee, for example. Oh, that sounds or wonderful. Or a Rolf Harris concert. <laughs> All right, let's give him the ball of wool and re work on removing the uh, dangerous places oh, restriction. So now you can see that we're in a whole different kind of a, uh, I don't know, subconscious within the subconscious. We're getting a little bit into the, um, uh, what was that movie called? I don't remember. <laughs> anyway, uh, so now here we are working to try and find out how to remove the... Um, Stay away from dangerous places restriction. Inception, that's the movie I was thinking of. Inception. And it looks like uh, this guy is wanted for 10,000 cents. So that's a lot of money. But anyway, we will try and get figure this out in the next episode. I will see you next time on Edna and Harvey. Harvey news, Harvey's New Eyes. Until then.